Within three minutes, we had dropped down through the crystal blue of the Gulf Stream. And there she was, outlined against the white sand bottom. My son Warren and I, the first two Canadians in almost 80 years to officially greet the Queen of Nassau. I was on the port side, about one third of the way back from the bow. The wreck still resembled the original ship. We swam forward, inspecting the deteriorated main deck. Much of the plank decking was gone, but the metal framework was still in place. The ship's ram bow was its most imposing and distinctive characteristic. And it was this ram bow that had allowed Tawney to identify the Florida mystery wreck. 